Hypertext and Hypermedia. One of the most rapidly changing and exciting areas of communication in the world today is the development of multimedia technologies, especially interactive multimedia programs that run on computer systems. These new technologies offer participants access to materials as never before. Multimedia is a one combination of digitally manipulated text, photographs, graphic art, sound, animation and video elements. When you allow an end user or the viewer of a multimedia project to control the content and decide when they are to be delivered, it is called interactive multimedia. When you provide a structure of linked elements through which the user can navigate, interactive multimedia becomes hypermedia. Linear and nonlinear media. A linear communication medium is the one we typically experience from beginning to the end in a logical order of demonstration. There is little or no choosing as we go. For example, cinema has a native linear structure. This structure is fixed and cannot be changed or modified by the viewer. In a world of print, novels are linear, but newspapers, magazines and encyclopedias are somewhat non-linear. They encourage a certain amount of jumping around, but web and other hypertextual media are strongly non-linear. Hypermedia. The term hypermedia refers to a host of digital technologies that enable the display of multimedia content in a non-linear configuration. Hypermedia is synonymous with another frequency, frequently used term, interactive multimedia. Interactive multimedia has been called hybrid technology as it combines the storage and retrieval capabilities of computer database technology with advanced tools for viewing and manipulating the content. Hypermedia is any package of materials that includes some combination of text, graphics, still images, animation, video and audio. These materials are packaged, integrated and linked together in some way that offers the users the ability to browse, navigate and analyze through various searching and indexing features. In interactive multimedia communication, the reader controls the experience of reading the material by being able to select one among multiple choices, choosing unique paths and sequences through the materials. Hypermedia have the capacity to annotate or personalize these materials. Hypertextuality gave impetus to the shift associated with media convergence and social media and the rise of user generated content with users changing from audiences to participants or the internet user who is both a user and a creator of online content. Interactive multimedia is reader centered as it enables the user to navigate through material in whatever ways it is most meaningful for individual users. In fact, the essence of hypertext and hypermedia is the choice, the freedom to decide what we will experience next. The Greek word hyper means beyond. Every word or text goes beyond the original word or text through various links and the user generated content has come to imply that user interaction is a critical part of the design whether for text browsing or for multimedia project as a whole. Hypertext is a feature of some computer programs that allows the user of electronic media to select a word from text and receive additional information pertaining to that word, such as a definition or related references within the text. In the article media in an electronic encyclopedia for example, a hyperlink at the mention of the multimedia enables the reader to access the article on that topic merely by clicking on the words multimedia with a mouse click. The hypertext link is usually denoted by highlighting the relevant word or phrase in the text with a different font or color. Hypertextuality not only allows extensive cross referencing between related sections of text, but also applies to associated graphic materials such as pictures, sounds or animated sequences. The term hypermedia coined in 1963 by the American 
pioneer of information technology Ted Nelson is to describe text that is linked to other text allowing the user to move between sections of text within the same page or between linked documents. World wide web and hypertext. World wide web www by name the web the leading information retrieval service of the internet gives users access to a vast range of documents that are connected each other by means of hypertext or hypermedia links. Hypertext and hypermedia are core elements of the world wide web. However, its principles extend beyond the web to any type of digital product that permits users to randomly access content in a non-linear manner. For example, compact disks is a hypermedia because it permits users to skip tracks or switch the position of the playhead more quickly rather than having fast forward through a tape. The evolution of World Wide Web was begun in 1989 by Tim Berners-Lee and his fellow workers at CERN, an international scientific organization founded in Geneva, Switzerland. They created Hypertext Transfer Protocol HTTP which standardized communication between servers and clients. The web operates within the internet's basic client server format. Servers are computer programs that store and transmit documents to other computers on the network when asked to. Clients are programs that request documents from a server as the user asks for them. Browser software allows users to view the retrieved documents. Hypertext allows the user to choose a word from the text and thereby access other documents that incorporate additional data relating to that word. A hypertext document with its corresponding text and hyperlinks is written in hypertext markup language HTML and is assigned an online address called a uniform resource locator URL hypertext system. When a hypermedia project includes large amounts of text or symbolic content, this content can be indexed and its elements then linked together to offer a rapid electronic retrieval of the associated information. When words are keyed or indexed to other words, you have a hypertext system. The text part of this term represents the project's content and meaning rather than the graphical presentation of the text. Some authoring systems incorporate a hypertext facility that allows you to identify words in a text field using a bold or colored style then link them to other words, pages or activities such as playing a sound or video clip related to that word. Unlike sequentially organized book on a CD-ROM where you might have more than 100,000 pages of text to investigate, research and browse, hypertext is invaluable. Hypertext often becomes simply an additional feature within an overall multimedia design. The power of hypertext. In a fully indexed hypertext system, all words can be found immediately. The power of such search and retrieval systems provided by a computer for large volumes of data is immense, but clearly this power must be channeled in meaningful ways. Links among words or clusters of information need to be designed so that they make sense. Judgments must be made about relationships and the way information content is organized and made available to users. Using hypertext, special programs of information management and hypertext have been designed to present electronic text, images and other elements in a database fashion. Searchable database engines such as Google search app appliance are widely used on the web, where software robots visit millions of web pages and index entire websites. Hypertext databases rely upon proprietary indexing systems that carefully scan the entire body of text and create very fast cross-referencing indexes 
that point to the location of specific words, documents and images. Commercial systems have been used for large and complicated mixtures of text and images. Hypertext based projects typically require the large mass storage capability of one or many CD rooms and or dedicated gigabyte hard disk. Effective hypertext indexing tools are available for both Macintosh and Windows and they offer fairly elaborate features designed to work to concert with many multimedia authoring systems. Server based hypertext and database engines designed for the web are now widely available and competitively priced. Hypermedia structures. The tree like structure of hyperlinked information contrasts with the linear structure of a print media. Hypertext links are in essence text cross references that afford instant access to their target pieces of information. Such links are most effective when used on a large array of information that is organized into many smaller related pieces and when the user requires only a small portion of information at any one time. Two catchwords used often in hypertext systems are link and node. Links are connections between the conceptual elements and the nodes consist of text, graphics, sounds or related information in the knowledge base. Links connect Caesar Augustus with Rome for example and grapes with wine and love with hate. The art of hypermedia design lies in the visualization of these nodes and their links so that they make sense and can form the backbone of a knowledge access system. Along with the use of HTML for the world wide web, the term anchor is used for reference from one document to another document, image, sound or file on the web. Links are the navigation pathways and menus. Nodes are accessible topics documents, messages and content elements. A link anchor is where you come from. A link end is the destination node linked to the anchor. Some hyper systems provide unidirectional navigation and offer no return pathway. Others are bidirectional. The simplest way to navigate hypermedia structures is via buttons that will you access linked information that is contained at the nodes. When you have finished examining the information, you return to your starting location. Navigation becomes more complicated when you add associative links that connect elements not directly in the hierarchy or sequence. These are the paths where users can begin to get lost if you do not provide location markers. A link can lead to a node that provides further links hypertext tools. Two functions are common to most hypermedia text management systems. They are provided as separate applications, building or authoring and reading. The builder or author creates the links, identifies nodes and generates the all important index of words. The index methodology and the search algorithms used to find and group words according to user search criteria. Hypertext systems are currently used for electronic publishing and reference works, technical documentation, educational courseware, electronic catalogs, interactive fiction and text and image databases. Now let us summarize the session. Hypermedia is a collection of multimedia materials with multiple possible arrangements and sequences. Hypertext and hypermedia are electronic concepts that can exist in a computer based environment. Multimedia becomes interactive multimedia when you give the user some control over what information is viewed and when it is viewed. Interactive multimedia becomes hypermedia when its designer provides a structure of linked elements through which a user can navigate and interact. Hypertext is the organized cross linking of words not only to other words but also to associated images, video clips, sounds and other exhibits. Hypertext often becomes simply an additional feature 
within an overall multimedia design. Two catchwords of used often in hyper text systems are link and node. The term anger is used for reference from one document to another. Hypertext system provides unidirectional and bidirectional navigation. Before we attend the next session, please try to answer the following questions. Number 1. Define hypermedia, hypertext, links, anchors and nodes. 2. Discuss the scope and limitations of hypermedia and hyperlinking systems. And there are some books for your reference. Multimedia Foundations Core Concepts for Digital Design. This is published by Elsevier in 2012 and the author is Coastal OV. The second book is Multimedia Making It Work. This is written by Ty Wagon. And uh, there is an internet source, Britannica. Dot com. In this chapter, we have gone beyond the actual text. That means, you know, there are uh, various things which we can browse through internet. Internet. This is called hypertextuality. Hyper, as I have already said, means going beyond the text. We are summing up this session. Thank you for watching this session. Okay.